Well, what do you think, Cold Trickle? You want to go do some uh, vlogging today with me, Ja? Hey, Ja. Should we go do some Days of Thunder vlog? All right, let's do it. Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. And yes, I am in the heart of racing country here in Mooresville, North Carolina, the home of the North Carolina Racing Hall of Fame. Uh, Dale Earnhardt's museum is here. Dale Earnhardt used to live here. That's actually what made me want to come out and check out the Days of Thunder location today. We're going to see the barn because I actually was recommended a video of Dale Earnhardt Jr. talking about when he was younger, the movie being filmed out at this barn, them lighting up the barn from the outside, and him, he said, my family owned property just catty corner to it, and I took my truck out in the field and would watch them film all night. And I thought that was pretty cool, and then I noticed that recently, I guess when the filming was done, all the race cars ended up at eventually ending up in a woman's backyard just being overgrown with grass and weeds and finally she called a company and just said like hey can you guys come get these out of here I have the days of thunder cars so I want to go see if we can visit those today so this should be a fun day who wants to see the days of thunder barn with me <laughs> let's do it days with Jordan the lion it begins right now Here it is. I noticed they're doing some developing around the older buildings around this, so this may not be around too much longer. But this is it. We see this. There's the lake behind all that in the movie. We would have actually seen where the uh, that big opening is right there. They had a ramp. And we see Tom Cruise ride his motorcycle right on into here. When he's coming to talk to Harry. But they did film here. They actually filmed the outside. As I mentioned, you see one just solid shot of the cars and everything outside. And then you see the shot later on when Tom Cruise, Cole Trickle, the star of the movie, is driving his motorcycle into here. Also, star-studded cast, Michael Rooker, you got Robert Duvall, Nicole Kidman, Carrie Elways, Randy Quaid. Very muddy out here, so be careful. But yeah, right there is where those ramps were. The, the two boards for the car to go up there. They actually did film up in here. When we see it, Tom Cruise is coming to visit Harry after he's been asked to drive the Exxon car. And he, we, we see a reverse shot from inside there where Cole Trickle is walking into there. So we'll see if maybe there's a way up there. Hopefully maybe we can find a, uh, a ladder or something that's safe. But I think, from what I could tell, when they were filming inside, when they're working on the first car, I was looking around and uh, I was kind of wondering like where these windows were. But if you notice when they're inside talking, they show this scene twice. The, uh, the beams kind of give it away the way they are inside of here. They're storing pallets in here, whatever it's being used for now. I don't want to get in too much trouble, but this is where when Harry, played by Robert Duvall, is asked to come back into NASCAR and to head up and build the, the car for Cole Trickle. I'm going to give you an engine, low to the ground, extra big oil pans will cut the wind from underneath you. He ends up building that city car in here with John C. Riley as Buck. So when the car has all the like nails sticking out and everything, that would have been in here and those windows that we see all the light coming in from are those windows right there.
because it's we end up seeing this later on in the movie when Cole wants to drive the the Exxon car for um, for Rowdy so we can see it maybe from the outside this is listed online as kind of like a uh, tourist attraction so I know a lot of people come out here man it has definitely seen better days that's for sure there are those windows this is the only side of the barn that had any windows so like I mentioned they were building they're actually you can see this door this door Tom Cruise walks in and the old car is in there covered up in tarp buddy didn't really die of a heart attack did he buddy didn't really die of a heart attack did he no I didn't but you don't want to hear about it the old city car with the banged up side so he is in there and you can tell because one of the first shots that you get is from down here kind of where we started looking inward i'll show you one of the first shots that we get is from like the floor up and you can see that it has like a shiny concrete floor i'm gonna give you an engine low to the ground extra big oil pans will cut the wind from underneath you and the concrete floor is right there so that hero car would have been in here no i didn't but you don't want to hear about it which is very cool but then later on when they end up having the argument like i said tom cruise comes back and he is asked by rowdy to race his car or else he's going to lose his sponsorship and lose all the money that he would have got back towards the car um he tells tom cruise you gotta you gotta drive my car they end up coming back out here and they're talking about buddy when buddy hit the wall at the third turn he was jabbering on the radio about as fast as he was driving to carbon monoxide my ass cole trickle says yeah but what if he didn't crash how would he have done and harry chases him around the back of the car over there how is he actually doing in that race you on we know hey 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 i'm telling you you shut that car and tells him to get the idea out of his head and then they both end up realizing that it's gonna happen i mean there's no way around it cole trickle wants to race this race and he's he's going to so it looks like there's a little ladder up there. They did film, like I said, they filmed one scene right up there. I'm not sure that's the greatest idea because that is, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the greatest idea. So I'll just show you a clip from the movie. No, 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 sir. Buck and Harry, you're up there with a the tractor. He says, I don't want to hear anything about Rowdy or anything of that nonsense like that. So all in all, about three scenes, they show one from a distance of the uh, motorcycle coming in. Then you have them building the car over there, the city car. Then they, Tom Cruise comes back. He's up there with the tractor when they race out of the top of the barn down the ramps. And then they end up filming the last scene over there in that what would have been a garage at the time. That's where the car was and where they have that big scene where he agrees to head up the crew for Cole Trickle for Daytona, which Cole Trickle wins. So there's the lake. It's cool that we could match up like at least where the windows were, where the door was that Tom Cruise comes in on the side, where the car was. Really cool to see that stuff. Like I said, it's, man, it could go down at any time. Who knows? So in order to see these cars, we actually have to go to Gaffney, South Carolina, which is about an hour and a half from Mooresville. Co-pilot sleeping. Hello, South Carolina. Welcome to South Carolina. 
thought I was in the wrong place at first because the address was showing this and then I saw the cars in the back. You can tell why someone would have called them if they had old race cars that they wanted to get rid of, right? <laughs> Not sure if they're inside or out here. We'll look around. I kind of know what I'm looking for at least. Even if we're not able to get in today because uh, the man we need to talk to is Johnny and he's apparently in Vegas right now so probably won't be able to meet with him. Even if we can't, I'm glad that he went out and saved these cars so that they can possibly be shown or displayed again for fans. I sent him a text hoping to uh, maybe we can get a permission to show one of the cars. Um, I don't know if he'll want to or not but uh, he has made some videos on the cars and everything over on his channel. Bummer I couldn't show you guys the cars. I think they're in this building. They just told me that uh, somebody came out here and without permission went in and took photos of them and they weren't happy about it. So yeah, unfortunately I noticed that uh, on their videos they were really cool because you could tell that they had extended the clutch for Tom Cruise to drive the Mellow Yellow car. They have that one. I think they also got the Hardy's car, but on the Mellow Yellow Hood, you can tell they met up with uh, the guy who made the cars for the movie and worked on the cars. And he said if anything got like destroyed during filming, they would just tell him like, "Well, just repaint it good enough to film the the scenes that we need." So they said if you look at the hood of the Mellow Yellow car, you can actually see the pink hood from the car that he was sponsored by before, the Superflow. So. And then on the back, you can see that the uh, back has the Exxon paint still on it. So that would have been cool to show. But if he gets back to me and allows me to come out or anything, I definitely will. Good news. I just got a text. He asked me if I'm still at the shop. He said he still has one of the cars left. Only one left. Wow. Well, it's good news that the one that he saved is the one that we would want to see. Cole Trickle's car. Wow, man. I really love this movie. It was a huge movie when I was a kid. And then I lived near Cincinnati and used to go to Kings Island theme park. And they bought, it was bought by Paramount. And Paramount displayed... Some of the Days of Thunder cars. And this was the one that, well not this one, but cleaned up version. So yeah, I noticed they were showing on their video, and I'm going to link their video up on the other side. You can see the original pink paint underneath for when it was uh, super flow. When it was painted for that. and Cole Trickle's name right up here. In the movie, he's from Eagle Rock, California. Knows nothing about cars. He said somebody just one day put him in a car and he could drive it. So there's the inside, steering wheel and everything. So cool, this guy. Johnny, to save this car, you know, if he wouldn't have, who knows what would have happened to it. They very well might have junked it. The pedals, you can see the pedals in there. So neat, man. So cool. It's a great movie. Very great movie. So I just got a little bit more information from Johnny Davis, and he was actually saying that, the, uh, that that's a Hendrix chassis inside there that raced in a cup, and that that is a Hendrix chassis number 17, which was Hendrix's favorite. The filming is still the one still in the car. It's amazing. I wanna go ahead and take another couple of photos. I realized we didn't look at the back, so. Let's do a walk around, because I think this is the one that I saw. No, he didn't melt the tires. <laughs> I think this is the one that I saw that had the X on back because he's asked to drive the car for Rowdy. Nope, maybe not. This one says mellow yellow, so. So cool. 
That was so awesome. That was so nice of Johnny Davis to let me go in and see that. I mean, I'm gonna link his videos here. They are really good if you love this kind of stuff, you love people that save historic movie memorabilia, that's a great one. It's funny, my friend, when I told him I was gonna come out here, he said something funny and I think he's right. He said, when they made that movie, everybody in racing was embarrassed of it. Now everybody in racing loves it and watches it constantly. <laughs> so sometimes that's the way it works. All-star cast, amazing movie. Tony Scott, great job on this one. And thank you, Johnny Davis, for saving this, Johnny Davis Racing. This was so awesome to get to see. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great night and goodbye.